Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2024. The quote of the day is, you did often change your circumstances by changing your attitude. Eleanor Roosevelt. Celebrating Women's History Month. Spotlight on Eleanor Roosevelt. Eleanor Roosevelt was the longest serving First Lady of the United States, serving four terms alongside her husband, FDR. Roosevelt bro broke the barriers of First Lady by speaking on issues like the Civil Rights Movement. After her terms ended once her husband passed, Roosevelt became the first delegate for the UN where she served on the UN Commission of Human Rights. She helped pass the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. Thanks for watching. Please rise for the pledge. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please, everyone, please, please be seated. There are no birthdays today. If we miss your birthday, stop by the office to pick out your birthday pencil. Make sure to check your grade level Google Classroom for the link to vote for the round three books in our Book Madness contest. St. Patrick's Day. Who is St. Patrick's? Patrick was born in Britain in the fourth century and didn't arrive in Ireland until he was 16 years old. When he was sent to work in the country after he arrived, Patrick became interested in Christianity and started teaching others about the religion. To show support for World Down Syndrome Day, we invite everyone in our school community to wear their brightest and boldest socks on March 21st. Yes? Hello, my name is Colton and this is my little brother Hudson. He is two years old and I am 11. Hudson's special um, because he has Down syndrome. That kind of makes him a little bit different, but he can do a bunch of different things that any ordinary two-year-old can do. Yay. This year I decided to send a letter to the superintendent and see if we could celebrate World Down Syndrome Day at the school district. This is the letter that I wrote. Dear Superintendent Linford, My name is Colton. I have four brothers and one sister in my family. My youngest brother just turned two years old and he has Down syndrome. His name is Hudson. Ever since Hudson was born, I've been learning a lot about Down syndrome. I have learned that people with Down syndrome are that different from you and me. They have the same feelings and they want to be included and they want to feel accepted. I'm also learning that people with Down syndrome can do amazing things. I'm writing this letter to let you know that March 21st is a World Down Syndrome Day and I think it would be awesome if our school district could celebrate this day and honor my brother and others like him in our community. Now one way we can celebrate that day is by wearing mismatched socks. The reason we celebrate with mismatched socks is because chromosomes look like pairs of mismatched socks and Down Syndrome is, ca is caused by having an extra chromosome. We call it Rock Your Socks Day. Celebrating World Down Syndrome Day would mean a lot to me and I know it would also mean a lot to the students and staff that have friends and family with Down Syndrome. Thank you, sincerely Colton Drube. I'm Melanie Drube, mom to Colton and Hudson. I'm just so proud of Colton and that he wanted to advocate for his little brother and to increase awareness and see if we could get the whole district to celebrate with us on World Down Syndrome Day. And we just hope that this increases awareness of Down Syndrome and helps others to celebrate these amazing individuals that are in our community and in our schools that have Down Syndrome. My name is Dan Linford. I'm the superintendent of Davis School District. And I received a really incredible, delightful email from my new friend, Colton. And Colton told me about his little brother, Hudson. And his little brother, Hudson, has Down syndrome. He asked us if we would consider celebrating World Down Syndrome Day. And Colton explained to me in this email that the reason they chose mismatched socks 
is because our chromosomes look like pairs of mismatched socks. So, you know, I talked to a couple people and everyone had the same reaction to Colton's really great email that I did. So we hope you'll join us and celebrate with Colton and Hudson and all of our other wonderful students World Down Syndrome Day on March 21st and rock your mismatched socks. Hi, I'm First Lady Abby Cox. Please join me and wear mismatched socks on Rock Your Socks Day, March 21st. Please support the Somerville Fire Department. Student Council will be selling ice pops and treats on March 19th, the first day of spring, right after school in the cafeteria. Please come and support. Thanks for watching. watching. See you next time. time.